Hello and a very warm welcome to the Wings of Soviet Sports Palace in Moscow where you join us for highlights of the Week 10 encounter in Group A between the Cuba Domadores and the host team Russia. Such rich and shared outstanding Olympic tradition between these boxers, the Cuba Domadores, the defending champions of course from Season 4 and we got things underway in Category C2 in the 52 kilogram flyweight division. And Jos Banivice, the number one ranked boxer at 52 kilogram flyweight, knew far too much for Ovik Oganisian, who was making his first outing of season five tonight. And as the contest progressed, Vice went through the gears and demonstrated a wonderful display of pot shotting, punching, hitting and moving. And unsurprisingly, he was a unanimous winner, giving Cuba a 1-0 lead after the opening bout. In the 60-kilogram lightweight division, it was Lazaro Alvarez of Cuba, the two-time world champion and Olympic bronze medalist from London 2012, who was facing World Series boxing debutant Arta Subkankalov. But Subkankalov wasn't overawed by the reputation and credentials of the man in front of him and competed very well indeed. It was a wonderful contrast in styles during this contest sharp shooting, reflex action punching from Alvarez and hard charging assaults from Subkankalov. But in the end, this came down to a question of will and desire and fitness as both boxers competed with all they had to the final belt. And it was Alvarez who prevailed on a split decision, 2-0 Cuba. In the 69 kilogram welterweight division, it was London 2012 Olympic champion Ronnie L. Iglesias squaring off against Rajab Butayev, the number one ranked boxer in the welterweight division in World Series boxing so far. And Butayev came out blazing. Very hard charging start from the World Series boxing number one. But Iglesias demonstrated his skill only to be dropped in the third round. It was only a 10 9 round in favor of the Russian note, and Iglesias came on strong with pot-shotting success as he used his feet and legs to pitch his punches effectively, but still, Butaev would punctuate periods of action with hard single shots. And as the contest wore on, Butaev employed grappling tactics to prevent the hard-charging Iglesias from coming on strong, and that was enough to secure a narrow, unanimous decision for Butaev. At 81 kilogram light heavyweight, it was the WSB number one, Julio Cesar La Cruz taking on Gamzat Gazaliev, making his first outing in season five tonight. And the Cuban maestro was in imperious form, demonstrating his usual variety of hitting without being hit and graceful movement as he glided around the boxing ring. Gazaliev was committed, but he really was reduced to a peripheral figure in this two-man contest, chasing shadows all contest long and picked off by effective singles by Cesar La Cruz. Unanimous points decision victory. Victory secured for the Cubans, leaving just the super heavyweights. And it was Lenier Perot and Maxim Babinin who would do battle in this final contest. Perot, the WSB number four among super heavyweights. He elected to stand in front of Babinin on occasion. And when he was a stationary target, this contest produced plenty of thrilling exchanges. Both men having success. And during the course of round four, both boxers appeared incredibly tired. But in the fifth round, Perot found a second wind, demonstrated wonderful mobility to evade the punches of Babinin and put his punches together very well indeed. And it was a unanimous decision in favor of Perot. No bonus point for Russia as they were beaten at home 4-1 the final score.